Hey everybody, this is Michael Pavlovich, and today we'll be doing a quick series on image-based lighting in ZBrush. This is a feature that ZBrush has had for a while, but I think might be an overlooked option for some. First, we'll discuss the pros to using the native ZBrush renderer, namely the ability to not have to process any nano, array, or live boolean meshes before making your final image. Then we'll cover some ZBrush rendering basics like the shadow catcher, camera and lens settings, and fine-tuning your shadow and AO render passes. Speaking of render passes, we'll cover changing our image resolution, then we'll go over a few techniques to export your passes to composite externally. Next is lighting, material, and polypaint basics, then we jump right into image-based lighting. We'll add some backgrounds, talk about basic light cap functionality, and then add a macro to have more control over our shadows and light sources. Then we'll make a custom floor plane, and then finally fine-tune our render. This is a short series, only about 40 minutes, but hopefully there's some useful information in this one to quickly get some easy rendering wins out of ZBrush. 